What I'm using here for the water globe part is this squishy rubbery dropper and it comes with this bottle. I'm going to dip it into the gel and you're going to pull out of the gel and wiggle it around and just kind of move the gel about like that. Put it in the lamp and you're going to keep turning it like this, okay? You're going to keep turning the gel while it's in the lamp for probably 20 seconds so it stops moving and then you'll cure that for three minutes. Remove the globe. Should come off pretty quick. It should look like that right here. On the inside, you have to clean it really well. Just take a alcohol-soaked piece of wipe, put it inside the globe, and use some kind of instrument that will fit in there and make sure you just turn your wipe around and clean it out really well. The reason I say this is because you don't want to have any kinds of glitter or anything once you fill your globe sticking to the inside of that globe. When you dip this into the gel, make sure that you don't dip it too far because it would just be too much to file off. Now we're gonna have to file this and shorten it a little bit because we don't need it that high. I dipped it in the uh, gel too far, but always test it on your nail. And you know you don't want it that high. Placed the globe on top of my nail. And this is the part where you want to make some kind of a little etching or scratch on the nail so that you know where you want to position your globe. I've scratched a mark here and I've scratched a mark here. In between the marks that we made, which would be right here, we're going to take some gel, some blue gel, transparent blue gel, and we're just going to kind of make like a little circle. And this will be in the bottom of the globe. And now I'm going to add just a little bit of glitter in there. Add just a little bit more gel on top of that after I have cured it just to cap in any of the glitters. I take my e-file and I'm going to make a little groove in the side of this. Enough so that I can put the water or the mineral oil inside of it. The globe just to stay in position until I'm done sealing it and working on it. I'm gonna just apply uh, a little drop of glue in like this area here just because it's a little bit thicker groove that we made with the cuticle bit I'm gonna just place it that that little groove up by the cuticle area it's just gonna be easier to fill I have the globe into position where I want it so now I can take some uh, thick builder gel and I can start and uh, go seek in that little opening there. There's a little opening, I don't know if you can see it. But we're just gonna start and go around the edge and start sealing that. And you wanna have your lamp running so you can um, quickly flash cure that so it doesn't run inside very much. Around the perimeter, just uh, filling in the spaces. And you have to work quickly so that the gel won't you know, level out and seep underneath the little globe. Once everything is filled, and you just plug up your little hole, just seal it up, just like we did last time, adding little bits at a time and flash curing. And it's all sealed up around the edges, except for the part, the little hole that we made right there. Just gonna inject it with a syringe. And you can buy these syringes too at any drugstore too. I got mine for like 25 cents. And they come with um, different size needles. This is like kind of like a fine one. And I'm just gonna stick it in that hole right there and just start injecting the mineral oil.
needles in it that you can use for henna and I also use this to put the oil back into the um, the globe. Time to plug up that hole. And have your light running so that you can flash cure. And then add more. Make sure that when you do this that you clean the oil off the outside of the globe before you plug up the hole. I'm going to top coat this with a no wipe top coat. I'm going to use a thick builder gel and I'm going to apply some um, rhinestone chain around the globe and I'm going to be flash curing it as needed. Now the space around the globe and the rhinestone chain, I'm gonna fill in with gold gel and little beads. I will take a tackless top coat and I will go around the beads and I'll seal it in.